Welcome everybody to Science Wednesday. Hello. So, in the last class, we saw a little bit about epidemics that we have gone through as human race through history. Que savons-nous déjà? Une épidémie est une maladie qui touche plusieurs personnes en même temps. Si une épidémie touche plusieurs pays en même temps, elle devient une pandémie. Nous avons vécu plusieurs pandémies, certaines causées par des bactéries comme la peste noire, d'autres causées par des virus comme le VIH ou la variole. But actually, right now, we are living a pandemic due to coronavirus. So, for the next classes, let's focus on this. Let's focus on coronavirus. Nous vivons actuellement une pandémie à cause du coronavirus. À partir de maintenant, nous allons nous concentrer sur cela. What kind of a virus is it? So, Elska, do you remember that we saw before the different categories that viruses can fit in? Yeah, yeah, there were some categories. So, do you think that we could try to categorize coronavirus? I think maybe to do this, can we just go back to class 2? Faisons un rappel des différentes catégories de virus. Oh my Whoa. goodness! Hello. Hello! Hello! Kind of forgot the categories of the viruses, so could you maybe tell uh, them? Yes, no, uh, of course. course. Why not? So, uh, the different types of viruses that we can find, we can categorize according to their structure, according to their genetic material, according to the fact whether they have or not a layer outside, and also according to their host, what they can infect. Is that enough? Ils peuvent être catégorisés selon leur forme, leur matériel génétique, leur couverture ou leur hôte. All right, so now we've seen the categories. Maybe we should look at Corona, the actual virus, uh -huh. to see what okay, kind of virus. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, let's uh, get uh, take some measures. Yeah. I'll take uh, put on a glove. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring it on. Okay. Is it supposed to be like <laughs> <laughs> How not to wear a mask? <laughs> okay, there we go, yeah? Are yeah, ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll step a little bit back. Yeah. Okay. So, the first thing I can see is that it has a, a cover outside. So it's a covered one. It has a layer of fat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then, another thing that I cannot see, but I know, is that it infects humans, so it hosts our people. That's true. And animals. And animals. Then, even if here we cannot see the inside, I know that this form of RNA, not DNA, mm -hmm. and the structure is, is complex. It's il a une couverture faite de graisse, il infecte les humains et les animaux, et il a de l'ARN. And I think with this we can just get rid of the virus. And before. put it back. Maybe yes. Okay. Just put it back. Go, go. Oh my friend. And now I think we can just take this off. Okay. Lovely. So oh. uh, yeah yeah. This pose the glove. So now we know the category of the virus. But uh, how is it transmitted? Well, do you remember? We talked about this before. I know we talked about this, uh, but maybe we could just refresh our minds going back to class number 9. Faisons un rappel de comment les virus peuvent être transmis. Oh. Hello? Oh, hey okay. guys. Can we help and you? We're coming from the future, and we were wondering if you could remind us the different kind of transmission. Okay, so, um, the a virus can be transmitted in different ways. It can be transmitted through infected meat, it can be transmitted through surfaces, uh, airborne transmission, uh, droplet transmission, waterborne transmission, and vector transmission. Amazing! Well, thank you so much! Les virus peuvent être transmis à travers l'air, l'eau, les gouttelettes, la viande infectée, les morsures d'animaux ou en restant sur des surfaces. So in the case of the coronavirus, we know that it's spread by droplet uh -huh. uh, transmission. For example, someone coughing or sneezing, this creates tiny little bits of water uh -huh. from your mouth. And if this comes on another person, for example, me sneezing on you, <laughs> then you can get infected uh -huh. as well. And in this way, it also transmits 
uh, transmits through surfaces. Because if I, for example, sneeze on a table, mm -hmm. and someone else touches this table afterwards, and then touches their face, it can also infect you again. So this is the case for a coronavirus. And that's uh -huh. also why they say you should always wash your hands a lot, because that's how you get your hands clean and the virus will go. You cannot infect someone else with it if it's on your hands. Le coronavirus est transmis à travers des gouttelettes. Et c'est pour cela qu'en mettant un masque, vous faites en sorte que vous n'infectez pas d'autres personnes parce que vos gouttelettes ne sont pas propagées autour de vous. Il peut aussi survivre sur des surfaces et c'est pourquoi il est important de vous laver les mains après avoir touché n'importe quoi qui aurait pu être infecté. Qu'avons-nous appris aujourd'hui Le coronavirus est composé d'ARN, il a une couverture composée de graisse et il peut infecter les humains et les animaux. Il peut être transmis à travers des gouttelettes et il peut survivre sur des surfaces. And that was all for today. We hope you enjoyed, we hope you learned and see you in the next class. Bye bye. Bye bye.